When Bridger Anderson was three years old, he told his mom he wanted to be a paleontologist and a steer wrestler. His mom, Robin, said Bridger quit daycare at three years old because cowboys do not go to daycare. Is it any wonder steer wrestling won out over dinosaurs? It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to the NFR. You need to be in the top 15 in the PRCA world standings to qualify for the national finals rodeo. Anderson is 10th with nearly $44,000. Placed at quite a few rodeos, placed at San Antonio, Fort Worth, and uh, made short round in San Angelo and had had a lot of luck. And then once we hit, we hit quarantine, everything slowed down. We didn't have any rodeos for a couple months. And then uh, after quarantine, kind of got back on another little roll there to start the summer. Bridger says there was about a five week span with no check coming in, making him a little nervous, but he clinched his first trip to the NFR in St. George, Utah. We finally got over that and had another good couple weeks and just kind of sealed the deal. I'm always happy for guys like Bridger who've worked hard and uh, they deserve to go to the NFR. We all knew it was only a matter of time and I, I think you're going to see him back there. Probably you're in and you're out. He bulldogs good and he's worked hard at it and he deserves all of it. Anderson played football and wrestled for Carrington High School, but rodeo would eventually win out. A Christmas present he received as a sophomore may have had a lot to do with it. It was a chance to learn under five-time world champion Luke Branquino, who later became his mentor. Bridger this year making his first national finals, we knew nothing was going to stop him. He was going to be there. It wasn't a matter of if, it was a matter of when. And, and he's proved that uh, even at a younger age, he is ready to compete with the top guys in the world and, and has a chance at a uh, world championship. Hiring a horse is commonplace in steer wrestling. Bridger does not do it that way. His name's Whiskers. Um, I bought him from Tyler and Jackie Shaw Diamond S Performance Horses when I was a senior in high school, spring of my senior year in 2017. Um, and I've had, had him quite a while, pretty much my entire professional career has, has been on that horse. Anderson's first trip to the finals takes him to Texas. The pandemic forced it away from Las Vegas this year. Uh, I'm definitely talking to everybody that's been to the NFR before and taking all kinds of advice from, from Luke, my coach, Stockton Graves, taking, taking advice from everybody. It's awesome to be able to represent the state of North Dakota at, at, at that level, I guess, at that big stage. Well, the first of 10 straight days of competition at the national finals begins on Thursday. Mandan's Ty Brewer is a six-time national finals qualifier in bareback, but unfortunately this year he will not be able to compete in Texas. Ty is sitting this one out because he tore 100% to the bicep tendon at a rodeo in Logan, Utah this year. Brewer had surgery on August 8th. I talked with Ty today. He says he feels good, but he's not strong enough yet for 10 rounds at the NFR. Well, the High School Activities Association has some extra rules for winter extracurricular activities. Now, masks are required for all team personnel. Attendance is 25% of capacity, but not more than 50 fans. Social distancing for family pods must be followed. And the state tournament dates, though unchanged for 2021. That's all for now. We'll be right back.